shouldn't be a problem later on, but not for now. Chana Chana, I'm Ladu Nibar. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, you should go hit that sub button right away. So Black Friday is now over and a lot of us has invested in new gear. I've been looking to get a new set of LED lights, especially RGB lights. Only so I can push that creative side just a little bit more. So I ended up getting a pair of Goodox TL60 LED light tubes. I haven't really had the chance to try them out really, but that's why I figured out why not just make a video about it. For today's shoots, I think portrait is a good way to start with testing them out. So I will be using two lights. And uh, as always, I use my G9 with maybe 35 or 56 millimeter Sigma lens just for a portrait. It's good for portrait and I'm gonna be inside. So it may not come as a surprise, but I will be using my favorite model, Evelina. My test subject. Hopefully this is gonna be awesome. I'll see you in a sec and we'll look through the results. As always, it's super fun using new gear, but it's even more fun to use gear that gives you such a huge option as these RBG lights gives you. Before I show the results, I want to show that you can use the lights for so much more than just photographing. You can use it for filmmaking and yeah, movie. While there is still no word on a cure for the virus, government officials report the virus is not airborne, but can be transferred through contact with blood and other bodily fluids. So the result of the pictures actually turned out so clean. I used the lights in a couple of different ways. We did it this way that she was, I don't know what to call it, flicking the hair a little bit and the result ended up like this, which I think is very cool. You can see like the hair lines and everything. It's kind of like a hair light that you can use while filming. We did the same thing with like a backlight uh, of her. And I used my other LED lights to light her from the front to like light up her face a little bit. Nothing special. I, I think I shot it at 5000K uh, just to light up her face a little bit more and not all the lights coming from the back. The other way we used the lights was that we disconnected one of them. She was holding it in front of her face, both against her face and turn the light and also turn the light away from her. Not on purpose, I I took down the light to put it in, on, in another room and when I turned the lights on, I forgot that I had both of the lights connected to the controller. So I turned both the lights on and they turn out like this. I think that it looked really cool with the blue lights in the back. We also took one with the red light, we switched it up. Uh, so she was holding the blue and the red was in the back. But I think 
It looks better with a bluish background. I know I have, I know I have red lights back there, but I will say this, this hair, the lights that comes from here, it's more white one. It's a colder light. It looks better. I don't know why, but that's my opinion. We also shot it with the lights from the sides and it looked good. I'm not gonna lie, it looked good, but I think the other two look cleaner, more professional, I'll say. Maybe not professional, but they look better. So if you're in need of some awesome RGB lights, these lights are amazing and they work perfect and it's a good quality light. Uh, and also a little bit cheaper than maybe a nanolite, but still comes with a good quality. Uh, I got nothing more this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Go subscribe to the channel, leave a like, whatever you want to do. If you want to see pictures that I take, go to my Instagram and follow me there. It's, I'll leave it right there. It's Al, Al Niederbach. Said it fast three times. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. See ya. <laughs> Except that my hair falls out here. It's